have some topics that you want me to cover in this series you want me to bust those myths please comment down those and also if i missed any point during this episode that this logic should be here or there is some other superstition or myth that is believed in your country in your family in your society then please 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 comment it down below i would love to read all your comments and also tell me how was the first episode of my very first series so please give this episode a big thumbs up for more episodes comment down your views share it with all of your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel Hi everyone this is Nandini Sharma welcome back to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel there is a button called subscribe and there is a bell icon please press both of them also welcome to the very first episode of my very new series called bust the myth with Nandini so in this whole series we are going to take different topics and we are going to bust those myths around the world around us around india everywhere if there is any myth we together are going to bust it and today of course being typical nandini i have to had to start this series with a women related issue and the issue is so yeah it sounds funny right it sounds stupid when it is actually you know implied on you when you are not allowed to do a lot of things because you have periods so let's not whisper and let's get started busting the myths that i have collected around the world for you guys so let's start from none other than our own motherland our own country india india So okay, let's start with India. Uh, I have collected a few very, very you know uh, the myths that are implied all over the country, and the myths that I have grown up hearing, the myths that our grandmothers, our mothers, or our great grandmothers used to follow, and our aunts tell us about them. So the very first myth that comes from India is you can't enter kitchen or cook food for anyone else. I mean, you can't cook. sorry the whole you know the time we don't get our periods women are meant to cook there is this feminine uh, thing in cooking at homes and women are meant to cooking women love cooking and women have to cook but those three or four or five days we can't cook because we have periods so i don't understand this you can do whatever you want to do and this has nothing to do please don't teach me the scientific things and all but yeah if you want to rest you can rest but it is not just for those 3 or 4 days any day if you want to rest and you don't want to cook you can do that so it should not be implied on those 3 days 4 days 5 days and it should just not apply on women it should apply on everyone so the next is the most you know famous one from india you can't enter a place of worship you can't enter temples for for example you can't enter temples why the blood is gushing out of my vagina not out of my, not out of my mouth yeah it's not got gushing out of my hands so why am i not allowed to enter a temple i'm not i'm not becoming a ghost or an alien when i'm bleeding so you can enter temples you can enter any place of worship and it does not have anything related you know you you're not dirty when you're on your periods that's my point so before getting heated let's move on to our next country israel so from israel there is this very very stupid myth or superstition which is you get slapped on the on the face when you get your first period so you have beautiful red cheeks all your life come on how is it possible understand the blood flow it's going down it's not come coming up so how can you just slap me and like i can have red cheeks all my life you will only get red cheeks for for that second or for that minute so it has no scientific logic it has no logic it's just you want to slap a girl that's why you've created the superstition so this is busted so next moving on to our next country it's romania so from romania 
Oh my God! I mean, how can you say this? You can't touch flowers because they'll die quicker. I don't have any black magic on me, or I'm not becoming a ghost. I don't have any of this, uh, you know, aura around me that will kill people and food and you know living beings. So how will a flower wilt or die if I touch it when I'm when blood is gushing out of my vagina? How? Like it's not possible. You're just not letting me do something which has nothing to do with my state of bleeding. Okay. So get your facts straight. This myth is busted. Next, we move on to our favorite country, Malaysia. It's beautiful. So from Malaysia, mm -mm, you need to wash your pants before throwing them out. Otherwise, ghosts will come and haunt you. I hope ghosts go and haunt these stupid people with their stupid mentality. Ghosts, please go. I mean, uh, the plastic pads that we use uh, or the material, I don't know the material exactly. Bamboo fiber is also there. So they're meant to soak. It has a cotton layer and it is meant to soak the blood, right? So when the blood is getting soaked, how can you wash it? And if you're using a fabric, you're using a homemade pad, it is not supposed to be thrown out. It is washed and used again, but we don't use it because it's not uh, leak proof. So uh, I don't understand this and then adding this scare the, or this fear of frightening people by the name of ghosts, not acceptable Malaysia. This myth is busted. So next we move on to mm, United Kingdom. So British people say don't go camping because the beers can smell it from far away. Okay, beers can smell living organisms, but I hope they can smell the mentality like you. And uh, beers are predators, right? Bears are predators. They have to smell their prey, right? So if they can't smell living beings, how will they hunt? So they can smell living beings, not just blood. So if you're saying that is, if blood is gushing out of my vagina and the bear can, uh, smell it so you're wrong there beer can smell any living organism around it okay so the next myth that we have is from United Kingdom again and this one is tampons tampons can break your hymen and make you impure first of all tampons are made to soak the blood like they're very leak proof and they're meant to soak the blood and you have to insert it but it does not break your hymen okay it would not hurt you uh, also breaking a hymen cannot make you impure so this feudal concept of virginity of breaking of hymen is only put up on women and not on men so it is highly highly sexist and it is absolutely rubbish you are not defined by your vagina you are defined by your actions so this myth is first it is absolutely wrong. Second, it is absolutely sexist. So, United Kingdom, British people, absolutely busted. Uh, so, the next, so the next, so the next um, country is Mexico. So, Mexico, okay, dance related. You should avoid dancing very active rhythms in order to take care of your uterus. Um, for your information, Mexico, when you dance or you jump or you work out, your uterus does not jump from, no, you know, its place to mouth or its place to the toe. So it, it is keep, it is there, it is intact. So if you don't want a woman to dance, don't put these stupid myths on them. So Mexico dancing absolutely busted. Next we have is Argentina. Argentina people say if you take a bath, you're bleeding with stop, and stopping stopping of the bleeding is bad for your health. Okay, wait. Uh, bleeding does not stop when you're on your period. Uh, it is uncontrollable. You cannot control it. So when I cannot control my bleeding, how can bathing or taking a shower or maybe any other surrounding can stop or you know start my bleeding? So. 
uh, this is wrong also uh, the stoppage of bleeding is not bad for your health after four days the bleeding stops so is it bad for our health so uh, this was absolutely wrong so argentina bleeding stopped absolutely busted Okay, so the last, last, last country that we have is Bolivia. Bolivia says you can't cradle babies or, you, or you'll cause them to get sick. Oh my God, that little peanut baby came out of a woman. And you're saying when she's on her periods, the baby will get sick. Wow, so sick of you. So get yourself checked, checked by a doctor rather than telling me that if I'm on my period and I take a baby in my arms, the baby will get sick. So you're sick. So Bolivia, baby will get sick. Absolutely busted. So these were all the 10 myths about periods that are collected from all over the world and all of them are completely busted. So you, my dear watchers, be it men, be it women, we are the future. We need to stop this mentality of saying periods. And we have to come out and proudly say that yes, it's a scientific phenomenon. It happens with every woman and there is no dirt. There is no impurity related to it. It is absolutely normal. It's as normal as breathing. Uh, it's not as pain, not as less painful as bleeding. But yeah, it's as natural as breathing. So guys, we've busted all the myths. Thank you for watching this episode. See you in the next episode.